In 2009, 75 million children are out of school and in need of an education, while 774 million adults across the globe cannot read or write. The United Nations Millennium Development Goal 2 aims to achieve universal primary education and leaders around the world have promised to provide all children with an education by 2015. The Steve Sinnott Foundation was set up to take on these challenges. When uh, Graham first suggested that what we might do is set up a foundation to pursue the work that Steve had done so tirelessly in terms of trying really to make the Millennium Development Goal a reality, I was delighted to say that I would like to be a part of the foundation. Well, what we want to do uh, is obviously establish a lasting legacy to Steve's memory and a positive force in education now on in perpetuity. But our initial project is about getting the uh, dialogue created between educators nationally and internationally, supporting teachers, particularly in developing countries, to help support the Millennium Goal to aim that all children should have access to education by 2015. Using advantages of modern technology is vital in the distribution of resources through the internet and for building a community of united teachers and education professionals. We're calling it a bank, but of course not a bank in which you deposit money and take out money. Banks not too popular these days. This is a bank of resources. This is a bank of knowledge, a bank of experience, and it's a bank, we hope, primarily of inspiration. We see the potential for an interactive web-based project, and we, we're looking forward and, and know that, uh, ironically almost, that uh, access to the web through mobile phones is going to be increasingly and is increasingly a possibility in developing countries. So we wish to exploit that concept and see how we can share with teachers uh, their ideas, their good practice, and give support to teachers across the world. If every child in the world could have access to a teacher as good as Steve, they would be very fortunate indeed. 75 million children out of school is still an enormous number. It is more than the total number of children who are in school, not just in the UK, but across Europe and in the United States. It's an enormous number of children who are still deprived of the basic right to education. It doesn't matter where you are, education is the route to progress, it's the route to change, it's the route out of poverty and despair, it's the route to hope and optimism. So it seems to me the focus that the foundation has on the notion of international global social justice is fitting in terms of Steve's memory, but it's also frankly fitting in terms of the times that we now live in and the challenges that we face. Steve firmly believed in education for all. He was committed to the pursuit of Millennium Development Goal 2. He was a passionate and inspiring teacher who possessed a way with people that crossed many boundaries, including those of age, class, race and gender. His natural optimism and hope made him a great generator of energy. If we have teachers and educators on board with this project, then those millions of teachers all supporting the achievement of the Millennium Goal, getting every child a primary age in school by the year 2015. With all that support, it can be achieved. We have big ideas, but we have big commitment, and the people associated with the foundation are demonstrating they equally want to ensure this foundation is successful and achieves its objectives because they just want to be associated with Steve Sinnott.